Attention listeners across the galaxy, all the way from Australia to Houston, do we have a pube problem? If so, our friends from Manscaped have cleared you for takeoff with their new fourth generation lawnmower 4.0. Kick your pubes to the next planet with the performance package 4.0. Inside this package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your whole solar system. And get your rocket ready for takeoff by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code QUEEN. Ever try to trim your balls for a romantic encounter but end up more like a nightmare on Elm Street because you used some old rusty shaver that didn't work at all? This case is here to guide you on a journey. A journey to trim your balls, butt, body, and even Uranus. The orbits in your pants will feel like you're in zero gravity when you use the tools provided by the leader in men's grooming. Abort hairy balls, abort hairy balls, and Buzz Lightyear that Woody with Manscaped. Get 20% off with the code QUEEN at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code QUEEN at manscaped.com. Your space balls will thank you. Welcome to Hey Queen's Hot Tea, Tea. the show where we sip celebrity gossip. Mm. Oh, there's scandal in here. Oh, oh. and throw <laughs> celebrity shade. Oh my goodness! Today we have so many delightful stories in the teapot. What's in there? Oh my good. Oh, it's Benifer, girl. It's Benifer. Oh. They're back together. Oh my God. What else is in here? I'm not sure. Oh, it's celebrity <laughs> children who are models. Oh, and Shiloh Jolie. Are you a model now too? Oh my God. So much delightful tea to cover. But I can't cover this tea alone, sweetie. I've brought together a panel of the most gorgeous and talented people in all of the world. And to my left, I'm starting with a woman whose nickname is Mount Olympus. <laughs> She's the Zeus of the lesbian people. And if you say the wrong thing, her lightning strike will be deadly. Yes. It's Miss. Julie Goldman. Yay. Thank you. The Mount Olympus. I mean, my whole world, it's just made right there. <laughs> no one has ever called me Mount Olympus. <laughs> You're the Zeus that. to my Hera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so actually, the, the Hera to your Zeus is actually <laughs> to the left. It's the queen of love. Nope, the goddess of wisdom. <laughs> nope, the snarkiest starlet in Hollywood, Ms. Brandy Howard. Yay! Hey, sexy. Hey, sexo. I'm just sitting here thirstily trying to be my best copy of a bootleg Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> wow. Oh. I'm trying it at all times. It's working. Thank you. It's done. You're real. What you get is what you, we can't afford it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, to my right, she was robbed, uh, as they will say to her for the rest of her motherfucking life. <laughs> on and on, one of the most brilliant and talented queens to ever emerge from the race, the stunning, the hilarious Manila Luzon. Yay! Yay! Darling, uh, speaking of Olympus, you look truly goddess-like. Mm, thank you. Thank you. I mean, why be a queen when you can be a, a goddess, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, the you've won goddess race yes. for sure. I didn't have a big old check to uh -huh. cash. That's right. But you know, we got tipped at the clubs, you know, so we have some spending money. That's good. Mm -hmm. and these gold neck pieces don't buy themselves. <laughs> yes, these gold plated, <laughs> gold adjacent <laughs> neck pieces <laughs> don't buy themselves. Now, if you are lacking in money, you might want to turn to your right because 
Right next to you is Hollywood's newest resident. She recently performed at the Boom Boom Room for Pride. She was seen at Craig's for dinner having the vegan bolognese pasta. She's dating a 23-year-old Brazilian. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe we got her. Madonna, everyone. Oh my God. She's here. What a guest. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so great now to be in West Hollywood, going everywhere and all the hip places. I love it. <laughs> I don't have dates. I don't bring dates. I bring a film crew. Oh. <laughs> For my Insta. <laughs> now, can you please, Madonna, recreate your pose that you did at Craig's Restaurant so we can do a side-by-side? -side? <laughs> Ding! <laughs> yes! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, we're perpetrating a fraud. That is not Madonna. In fact, is that your hair or a Madonna wig? <laughs> it's Teddy Morgan! Yay! Yay! I can finally talk like myself! <laughs> <laughs> That is the most soft, and when I saw you in this <laughs> wig, I said soft beauty reigns I look at her, I look at her hair and I see soft beauty. Mm, and I look at her hair and I think the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, welcome everyone, and now let's get into the tea. First up, we have Carl Nassib comes out. He's six foot seven, he's an NFL player, and he said, hey everyone, just wanna let you know, uh, I'm gay. And everyone across the world said, hi gay. <laughs> um, no. This started off as a very exciting story because we're always excited to welcome someone into our family, especially someone who's busting out of the closet doors <laughs> while they're still playing in the NFL. That was very exciting. We were ready to get the parade going. I was like, Jojo, you bail the float. <laughs> TT, you get the rainbow stuff. Uh, but Jojo too, I need you to go down to the Abbey. I need you to book a welcome party, okay? And we're gonna end flex spa. Make sure you're open late, because he's coming by. He's finally out of the closet. And then, unfortunately, Right on the same day he came out, all of our dreams were a little bit dashed because pictures were released of him hanging out real close with people in pro-Trump uh, t-shirts. No. No. <laughs> well, Julie, what do we think of this? Well, was he fucking him? We don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> then it's fine. Because then it's fine. If you're yeah. fucking someone up the old butt bowl in a bag of shirt, a hat, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope he ri rips through them all. <laughs> oh, Julie. I want him to ram through the, gr the group of them. Right, all. Yeah, take all, all of them. them. Red hat, boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Red hat, boom. He's at CPAC and he's just like fucking Fuck him. It. Left, right, left, right. He's doing yep. the chariot. You know doing what I'm saying? Yeah. He's <laughs> riding the chariot. He's doing meet, meet, tap, 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 tap now, in the bathroom. The, 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 I mean, that would be carrying on a long Republican tradition mm -hmm. if he was doing the wide stance and tap tapping <gasps> yes. at the stall. I just thought of this. Yes. Now, let's picture this. He has a private meeting with Lindsey Graham. Ah, uh -huh. Yay! <laughs> yep. I'm Nuff just gonna said. leave it there. Nuff I'm said. just gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna yeah. leave it there. Because you know Lindsey Graham was at home like, oh, <laughs> Carl <laughs> Nassib, oh my goodness. Yes. And he's a Republican, you say? Oh. oh. <laughs> Set up a meeting with him right now. I wanna talk about policy. I, talk I wanna about talk about all, all the Republican policy. stuff. I wanna all talk about, about Congress. All the I wanna talk about civil rights. <laughs> I want to talk about the civil rights of my hole. My hole will be violated. My hole's been violated and needs to be violated more. I want to I want to put a ban on whole rights because we want the whole to be violated. Oh. Manila, how are we supposed to feel when someone comes out and they're possibly pro-Trump? Do, do we need to weigh down the welcome flags or do we need to check our own privilege and just be happy that someone's living their truth? Yeah, I think that we should just be happy because now I feel like we have like an inside you know, like a, like a spy, maybe. <laughs> you know, like go and infiltrate the Republican Party. You know, go, go, like fag up some of them uh, uh, Trump uh, rallies. Why not? 
Right. I mean, Teddy, can we, if Carl's fucking him, <laughs> is it okay? I mean, is it for him to tap, Girl. tap, tap at the CPAC? Girl, I mean, I don't know why it's a shock. Every closet case is a Republican. It's part of the denial phase. But I don't, I don't think... I don't, I mean, everyone's like, oh, he's, it's, yay, yay for you. <laughs> but he was the bully in high school who bullied me oh. for going down the hallway, for cutting up my shirt to look like Jennifer Beals, <laughs> and I held my books like this. So you know what? We were the heroes. The feminine <laughs> boys were the heroes. And oh. the, not you, girl. <laughs> so you do what you want, fuck who you want. I don't care. Mm. Oh, well, I mean, okay. Brandy, he is six foot seven and 28 oh. years old with a beer can cock. Can, can, <laughs> uh, can, can, beer can, can cock. Well, does that change our opinion? We, we, were, we were told we are not allowed to change our opinion on Colton Underwood. <laughs> we still don't like him. But, uh, I don't. Okay. Now, I am annoyed about him bullying Teddy in the flash dance shirt <laughs> in terms of Carl. But I will say... I watch a lot of basketball, and the way that I've gotten Julie on board is to say, and I've, I've fashioned a lot of problematic tweets that I then delete and don't post <laughs> that go something along the lines of, you'll enjoy pro sports a lot more if you just pretend everyone's gay. <laughs> and it works so well with Julie. Like, I've gotten her into so many basketball players. I'm like, I think these two are, like, into each other. Mm. And, and I'm like, <gasps> Oh, just this guy, Carl. Oh, I wish his name wasn't Carl. <laughs> but that said, I feel like he's the first. Wait, wait, pause. Okay. I love that Brandy is like, Republican, no problem. <laughs> but the name Carl. <laughs> it's my yeah. mom's ex-husband's name. No, that is But I think, I think he's the first and that we're going to have a lot of exciting. I mean, honestly... Over 50% of every single pro sport are, there are, are gay, and and we're getting when we're getting into football. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get to the 70% territory. So I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. It's about to get real exciting. I know. I'm ready real, to watch ESPN 22, <laughs> the locker room. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> it's yes. Just just man twerking in the locker room, making love in the locker yes. room, and kissing <laughs> in the locker room. No ladies allowed in this locker room because there's too much homosexual activity going on. Ooh, I mean, they're yes, starting it at the rallies that. with Macho Man. That's They're true. They're laying the groundwork. They want it to happen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, okay. I guess I'm going to just go with Manila's. We're hoping he's a spy mm -hmm. and that he'll come around. I just have trouble when the Republicans who people are fully Republican, when the Republican Party is completely not behind gay rights Well, Teddy said every single gay person or in the closet is usually, they're going to be Republican at first. They're usually re religious. I mean, not to get like real, but it's like, <laughs> that's where we're at. It's, it's in the closet yeah. manifesto. When yeah. you're in UL, you're like, you have to be Republican. Oh, okay. Then you do the tap tap in the bathroom, yeah. and then you, you then right. that's, you that's pray, and, you, and then you confess your sins. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> in, Except you can your heart. Yeah. So, yes. yes. I mean, that's maybe, maybe he yes. can always register as a Democrat in the next election. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Can, yes. He, he is welcome to take photos <laughs> next to me in a Biden gown. Uh huh. So, uh, yes. You know, we'll just have to wait till the next episode. <laughs> Agreed. Well said, Manila. Yay! <laughs>